Hey guys, welcome to another video. So, as I've told you in my previous video that I've designed a kind of app for my mess solver bot. Actually, I designed that to monitor my mess solver bot because it's pretty hard to check what's the status of the LEDs and what's the mode that bot is triggering in all of those turns and you know those 90 degree curves and bends. It's pretty much hard to check the bot physically. How the bot is reacting to those lines so basically that's why i've designed that app which i should say app i've showed you in my previous video so no more time waste i will show you how to design that thing let's get started So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the basics of how that thing works and how you can design your own kind of app to control your Arduino with your ESP. So first things first, the thing you should know is until now, I've, all the tutorials I've made about ESP, I was interacting with the ESP using my Arduino using serial connection. Okay. So in that case, I am interacting directly with my ESP. So I've told you to connect the RX to RX and TX to TX of your Arduino and your ESPs. But in this tutorial, and I mean, when you are obviously using your ESP as your Wi-Fi module. So basically what you are doing in that case is using your ESP to only receive your data. Or in other words, ESP is only gathering your data and the data is processed in your Arduino. So basically we are using ESP only as a communicating device with our Arduino and the data is processed in our Arduino so we don't need to bother about your, our ESP and by that I mean uh, we don't need to flash any code into our ESP. So this makes the thing quite easy isn't it? We all know flashing codes in ESP is kind of tricky. Obviously you can do that but it's kind of tricky. So basically what we are doing here is gathering the data using ESP and processing the data in our Arduino. So if we apply a little bit of a common sense, you may think that here we need to connect the RX to TX and TX to RX. Opposite connections because what we are sending is received by the Arduino, isn't it? What you are sending via the ESP that is being received by the Arduino and what the Arduino is sending that is going to be received by the ESP. So it will be a cross connection like TX to RX and RX to TX of your Arduino and ESP respectively. So by that case that completes our simple connection and you don't need to worry about all these connections because in my previous video the card here I've showed you how to create a kind of shield because you cannot run your ESP in your 5 volts as of your Arduino. You need to supply 3.3 volts and that also should be a stable power supply. You cannot do that with your Arduino's 3.3 volts rail because it needs a beefy amount of current which the Arduino cannot deliver so I've showed you how you can design a 3.3 volt power supply from your existing 5 volt using its LM317 regulators adjustable voltage regulators all the things I've showed in my previous video so you, sh you should check that video that is a must okay so now you just have to plug in the circuit like that I've shown in my previous video so that completes the circuit portion now I'm going to show you how to create that kind of app. So the first thing you need to do is log into if you are using Android then go to play store and search for an application called remote XY. Now I think my net is no it's okay so let's see remote XY there we go now as you can see this is a free application but in the free application you know you have some restrictions i'm going to show that in a minute see this is arduino control remote x arduino this is the app you need and after installing this app to your smartphone basically what you have to do is log in basically go to this web page remote xy i'm directly going to the editor let me open the home page there we go see this remote xy so now you're going to do is go to the editor okay and now we can see I've already these two things going on here I'm gonna delete them because you are not gonna see these things 
when you open this page for the first time so that like this you will see and the first thing you need to do is go to configuration okay and then select arduino just click here and you will see that you can select variety of different devices here as i am using an arduino nano so i will provide here arduino nano then connection will be what wi-fi access point because we are using esp module so see now only what we get is this module and our id is i am going to use arduino to program this thing okay now you have to apply the changes and see it's done all of your devices are set up over here wi-fi access point arduino nano esp8266 wi-fi module and we are going to use arduino id for coding so let's see what's next module interface so you are going to provide hardware serial you can also provide software serial both worked for me but i will suggest you to use this hardware serial okay now after you put hardware serial you can you can see that serial pins 0 and 1 this is the normal thing you have noticed isn't it 0 and 1 of your arduino are the rx and tx pins isn't it and in that way i have designed the previous shield so you get everything in your shield you don't have to worry about those wearing issues because everything is plugged in in that shield so that shield is a must you should try that you should make that shield before you do these things so the next thing you will see is that your wi-fi access point so basically what you're doing this is not any iot project so in iot what we do we contact through a cloud server but here we are just creating an ac wi-fi access point through your ES esp01 module we're just creating a Wi-Fi access point and our smartphone will connect to that Wi-Fi access point and you will able to access that device basically. So this is not a proper IoT application. Okay, I will obviously show what a proper IoT application is in maybe my future videos. Okay, so as of now, you can choose any communication speed. I will select 115200 and here you can put your access id and password this is this will be your wi-fi name and password you shouldn't change the port though the port will be same and then the view here you can see vertical horizontal if you put horizontal then your smartphone will be aligned horizontally or landscape mode i suggest using vertical because who cares isn't it so you don't need to provide an access password because you are already providing a password to connect to your Wi-Fi access point. So after that, you can drag anything here, like a button or a switch or whatever. And after you click that specific element, you see there are certain names in there. So this will be your variable name through which you can access this in your IDE. I mean, while you are coding. And see, this is caption X, you can whatever you want, like on or off maybe we put on so here will be on this is just a graphical interface so basically what you have to learn is not these things this you can learn automatically by yourself so these are some of those graphical thingies like a designing and proper ui for your so-called app this is not an app by the way this is a web page basically so here you can see snap to pin this is important because this is the pin this switch will correspond to like if i put 13 we all know our 13 digital pin 13 in our arduino in our arduino is attached to an led so if we press this on switch in our smartphone then our led will glow like that isn't that simple now let's come to here sliding switch now you can see caption is on or off you can do whatever you want on or off or now here is another graphical thing this these things you can learn by yourself and see again there is an option of snapping to pins like if you put 13 again then if you switch it on then your led in your arduino will glow off and if you switch it off then your led will be turn off so this is the simple thing you need to do you can design this whole thing by yourself there are a couple of more options here you can see indication like decoration there are many things you will learn this by yourself obviously i show i will show you the time lapse how i design my ui for my mess all about in that you will learn how to design the ui so you can do it yourself i will just show that because i want to show that how i designed it just a time lapse so now 
after doing all these things you may want to put anything over here like anything i mean there is no any hard and fast rule that you have to provide simpler ui you can put whatever you want but again the free version of this app maybe only may support two or three elements i don't know i have to check that okay so if you want it then you can buy the full version or this is not in sponsored video by the way so i will not recommend anyone to purchase this version without trying first of all you try it using couple of elements like two or three whatever it supports in the free version and then after you if you like it then obviously it's your choice to buy the product okay so now you have to click on get source code now you will see a nice code is ready for you you have to just copy this code and paste in your arduino id and also you can download this download code or direct it will be it will be downloaded as ino so basically you can run it and burn it in your arduino so that's pretty simple and as you can see our standard arduino code over here there are a couple of things going on here and this is the configuration the more number of elements you put the more number of lines become these are the things i don't know what they are they looks like some of those coordinates in your lcd screen i don't know about that though and there are some structures you don't have to look at all of these here starts our basic arduino code here is setup and this is the function called from that library this is the library and also you have to install the library okay you, you you see this is the thing you need to do download the source code install the library and then compile the source code and then this is said correctly connect the esp don't have to worry about that i have already showed in my previous video how to connect your esp with your shield with your arduino basically so the main thing you need to do is download this library first okay so you see this is the latest library i suggest you download the latest one and then paste it in your arduino library and here you can also see a nice instruction how to install the library so basically i don't need to extend the size of this video by showing all of these these are basic things you will obviously do that because everyone is a genius isn't it so you see install the library for your arduino add library and then you have to put all of these things so basically that's pretty simple you can do that and after that you are good to go and as you can see if you need to tweak those codes i will show that in my next or some video because i don't want to make this video long as i've already showing as i'm only showing how to design this app i mean again app this is basically a web page this is not an app okay to interface your arduino using your smartphone so that is the topic of this video not how to code okay i'll show about show how to code these things it may be my next or some video just let me know in the comments below so now see how i created my own interface for my line follower bot let's get started
So, hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, thumbs down for the opposite. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. This is Malar, you are watching Out of Syllabus. And for today, I'm signing off.